We love closing the show with a segment we call Show and Tell. Remember Show and Tell when you were a kid? I loved Show and Tell. It was always so much fun. Very creative. Except I didn't love Show and Tell when my son had Show and Tell. Because? Well, second grade, they were supposed to take a pet in. <laughs> you see where this is going, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Kids, they do the darkest. So wait, wait, thing. indulge me. Okay, so um, for you viewers at home, you can't see I've got a huge Great Dane over there and this little tiny Yorkie running around under the crew's feet. And I've got two cats inside, but when my son was small, we had all sorts of pets. We had chinchillas, we had flying squirrels, we had hamsters, we had everything. And so he kept signing up to bring in an animal for show and tell. And at that time, we had two wine runners that hunted anything they could see. And so every time he would sign up to take the hamster, one of the cats would let the hamster out and it would mysteriously disappear. And then the chinchillas got out. And anyway, I think he finally successfully took in a cat or something. But we had a, a whole <laughs> slew of mysterious animal deaths. So anyway. <laughs> because of show and tell. Because of show and tell. So back to show and tell. So Go we ahead. promise to take care of animals on this program. So our show and tell will feature... <laughs> It's our true. favorite tweets, <laughs> bloggers, blog posts, apps, tech gear, and more. So we just want to show our favorite stuff. So if there's something that you would like us to show and tell, uh, send us an email to bess at flblogcon.com. But until then, Bess, what do you have for us for show and tell today? <laughs> Nothing dead, I promise. In fact, something very alive, a rebirth of something. In fact, Star Wars Awaken. My favorite tweet, actually my favorite series of tweets on Twitter, uh, were just... Person after person, I can't believe how many Star Wars fans are out there that are just, see, I'm a Trekkie. Mm -hmm. I love anything Star Trek, so, yeah, I know. That's me. Uh, but I, you know, I still enjoy Star Wars, but it floored me just how trending that was and how people were just fascinated with it. And they had all these fan trailers and people didn't know if it was the real new one or still a fan trailer. So it was really kind of cool to see that whole take place over social media. You know, social media has changed the way that movies are released. In fact, Lou is a great example of that, how integral he is with uh, Disney and things that happen at Disney. So he'll be doing the whole tour of going out to California, then the Star Wars days down in Orlando. And so it's, it's just neat to see it happening. Yeah. So there, that, that's, my, there. that's my favorite thing about favorite thing this week. Show and tell. <laughs> so I've got something, you know, a lot of uh, bloggers do list posts, right? We okay. all love a good list post because they're easy to do, easy, you know, but. Um, there's sometimes some criticism about list posts and that, you know, how can you really know what the best things are? Do you really have that kind of authority? Have you seen everything to be able to pick the, the 10 best things? Uh, but there's this guy called Lee Abamonte. His name is uh, L-E-E-A-B-B-A-M-O-N-T-E, Lee Abamonte.com. <laughs> and he has the record. Um, he is the youngest American to visit every single country in the world. How many countries are there in the world? I think there's about 197-ish, give or take. It depends on how you measure what is a country. Because how, how old states. is he? Do you know? I don't know, but he's not. He's not very old. Um, but wow. you know, if there's anybody that's been anywhere, it's been him. And he actually uh, creates a bunch of lists. Uh, the, this one we're looking at is the 30 best islands in the world. But what I like about it, and what bloggers can take away from this, is he actually gives the criteria for how he chose. The, the, in this case, the islands of the world, the criteria for choosing what makes the best list. So private islands don't count. Um, he has to have been at least one time on the island and spent at least one night or two, two days on the island. So cruises don't, don't count. So wait, this means he has been to at least 30 islands. He's been to at least 30 islands. Well, he's been to a whole lot more than that. But I think, I think what it does is it gives a level of credibility and authority to a blogger. So the next time you're doing a list post, my ten, the 10 best things you should get when you shop for whatever holiday or the, my 10 favorite foods or whatever, is what is the criteria that you're judging this on to help mm -hmm. the reader uh, make a better informed choice, just to understand the background and, and it just, I think, makes his post a little more um, authoritative and credible. So Besides you, beautiful with the pictures. Do you know what this post tells me? What's that? That I don't travel nearly you enough. Don't travel nearly enough. <laughs> I mean, these are gorgeous, his pictures. So you travel a lot and used to have a travel blog. Mm -hmm. How many countries? Um, the last count, if you count the United States, 24. So 23. You don't if you count the count. United States? So 23, 23. Well, maybe you There's do. a lot to see in the United States. There's a lot to see. 23. There That's is. without the United States. Yeah, I'm nowhere near that. So what has been your favorite country to visit? Uh, yeah, it's a very tough question. It's always the country I haven't visited. That's the favorite one, the one to look forward to. 
Is that a non-answer answer? That's a non-answer. <laughs> you most recently went to? Peru. And I'd say there were some highlights. Every country has some highlights here and there. I liked your llama pictures. Thank you. Thank so you're you. coming full circle back to the animals? But in any event, more to come on our travels. <laughs> and, and, uh, you got that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. This is going to wrap up this week's episode. We are thrilled that we have our new viewers in Virginia. Thanks, guys, welcome, for tuning welcome. in. And uh, you can find me on gottagetblogging.com. And you can find me at orlandowaterhole.com and available on iTunes to download. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see you next time. Bye.